Hi, I'm Associate Professor Martin Mulligan from the School of Global, Urban and Social Studies at RMIT University in Melbourne. And I'm talking about a textbook that I've recently completed, Introduction to Sustainability, Environmental, Social and Personal Perspectives. Thinking about how I came to write the, this book, I remember that I was visited by Kanam VG from uh, the publisher Earthscan Routledge. And when she found out that I was teaching an introductory course on sustainability, she asked if I'd put in a proposal because they'd already done a survey to find out there is no widely used uh, introductory textbook. Uh, and yet there is a perceived need for it. At a global level, we've only been thinking about sustainability for about 25 years, and yet the big work is still ahead of us. My key aims in uh, writing this book were to convince rather skeptical students, from my experience, that sustainability is not just an environmental concern. Another misconception uh, is that this is primarily an economic matter. How do we make the economy sustainable? And uh, I personally believe that economics is part of the social. The subtitle indicates that we need to focus on the personal perspectives because when you're teaching students you have to bring the big global challenges back to what people can do personally or professionally. But there's also a focus in the book on what are the arguments for hope in the face of big global challenges. Rather than fill students uh, with despair, how can we really focus on what are the reasons to be hopeful about our future. Essentially the book has been written uh, for students in probably first or second year of university. The first part of the book uh, is mostly around key concepts and ideas, illustrated with relevant case studies. But then there's another section which is about uh, assessment and management tools and ideas about how to take action in the world, both personally and professionally. And then there's a final section which really came from feedback from reviewers of the proposal, presented in perhaps a more traditional way around the particular contemporary topics and concerns. We're trying to make it a very useful resource that the book introduces the ideas and the topics and then there are ways to work with the book in terms of teaching practice or student learning. There's a lot of change happening and we can be part of the change. Uh, but you have to focus more on the opportunities as they emerge rather than thinking about where you might want to be at some time in the future. And that's one of the key, I think, arguments for hope uh, that I try to communicate to the students.